Thursday morning, and out in the tropics, the news continues to be pretty good. Across the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, everything is nice and quiet, and that's how we like it. Out in the Atlantic, for the most part, some, uh, some similar conditions, except that we have this tropical wave that's emerging from the west coast of Africa. National Hurricane Center is giving this a low chance of developing into a tropical system in the next two to five days. So we're going to follow this very closely, and we'll let you know if anything changes with this uh, particular tropical wave. We're also still following, of course, Ed Ward as Ed Ward speeds uh, quickly away from Bermuda at a high rate of speed, east-northeast at about 28 miles per hour. Let me show you the latest uh, coordinates on this system, and there you have them. Uh, it's uh, got 85 mile per hour winds, so it's a category one storm, and again, east-northeast at 28 miles per hour. Here's what the National Hurricane Center and the uh, spaghetti plot say this thing is going to do over the course of the next several days, and it's just interesting to see what's going to happen. But uh, you know, we've been telling you for many days now that uh, this thing is likely or has the possibility of making a complete loop around. So we're going to follow Edward until it's death or until it's re-life, and, and uh, we'll let you know as things change. Otherwise, across uh, the southeastern United States, some pretty decent conditions behind that cold front. For us, we've got uh, some more showers and storms along the coast, similar to what we've had for the last several days. In fact, for the last several weeks, it uh, looks like Grand Isles is going to get some more, if, or already getting some more rainfall and some thunderstorm activity just off the coast right now. If you're making plans to head out to the DAV military job, up there at the Superdome from 11 to 3 o'clock. Some cloudy and hot conditions overall, about 88 degrees this afternoon. Rainfall chances are probably going to go up after that event is over. And if you headed to Marrero on Friday night for the Elevate New Orleans fundraiser, you're looking pretty good. Some mostly clear skies, relatively mild conditions, about 78 degrees at that time. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. And I'm expecting our temperatures by noontime to rise for most of us into the mid 80s, mid to upper 80s for some of us. And our highs this afternoon only into to the uh, upper 80s for most of us, and some of us will find temperatures in the low 90s. About a 20% chance of rainfall at 3 o'clock, but that goes up to about a 30 to 40% chance from 3 to about 6 p.m. Uh, this evening. So if you're making plans for jazz in the park, a better chance of rainfall than when this event gets started. Uh, so about a 30% chance. You may want to bring the umbrella just in case some warm and humid conditions overall. If you're making plans for high school football, on Friday evening, I'm thinking some mostly clear skies. And if you're down along the South Shore, especially lower uh, Terrebonne or Lafourche parishes, or maybe even Jefferson Parish, you may see about a 10, maybe as high as a 20% chance of rainfall in those areas. For the Blue Dew two mile run on Saturday evening, uh, overall looking pretty good for this event as well. Some partly cloudy conditions and some warm and breezy conditions, 80 degrees when that great event gets started. Hey, for your Thursday tides for fishermen and fisherwomen, here's a look at Grand Island, the Southwest Pass. The range of tide down a little bit from yesterday at the Wrigley's now at 1.1 feet. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast, and you'll notice those rain chances uh, going down over the next couple of days into the weekend, maybe as much as a 10% chance of rainfall. But overall, I think it's going to be a pretty nice weekend with some mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the upper 80s and the low 90s. And don't forget, the first day of fall is on Monday.